what's up beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is nelly in today's video i'll be talking about the okinawa institute of science and technology research internship previously i spoke about the phd program and this phd program comes with a lot of benefits so if you've not already watched the video then i'll recommend that you watch it because if you're interested in a fully funded phd program then this is the program that you should be looking at so I'll link the I'll put the link to the video in the description box so that you can actually check it out. But today we are talking about the research internship. So let's go straight into it. Apply to research internship students in bachelor and master program or recently graduated interested in joining the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology PhD program may undertake educational activity at OIST as a research intern. A research internship at OIST provides students with experience working in a research environment under the direction of OIST faculty. Research intern places are awarded twice a year on a competitive basis. Selection is highly competitive and depends on suitability of the intended research, academic background, available funding, and space. Not all available positions will necessarily be filled. OIST strives to create and maintain an inclusive, equitable, and diverse environment that does not discriminate against gender, gender identity, gender expression, age, sexual orientation, mental or physical disability, medical condition, race, ethnicity, ancestry, culture, national origin, religion, or marital status. Applications from women and other underrepresented groups are strongly encouraged. So summary of this, if you have just recently graduated if you have a bachelor's degree if you have a master's degree or if you want to join the oist phd program and you just want to have a feel of what it takes to do research at oist then this is intended to you so clearly anyone who is interested or anyone who gets this information and who has either a bachelor's degree or a master's degree can proceed to apply for this research internship Application procedure. Applications to the program must be made through the online form. You can only submit your application after at least one recommendation letter is received in the application system. So you need a recommendation letter. You will receive an auto notification that your application has been received. Please check your settings to ensure you can receive emails from this domain. Um, following the application period, applications will be screened and selections will be and selection will be completed. The results announcement will be posted on your application platform three months after the application deadline. You will receive a notification when the result is posted. In some cases, applicants email services or settings prevents receipt of a notification so please confirm that you're able to receive emails from the domain following final confirmation of internship offers all necessary arrangements will be made in cooperation with the interns your cooperation is required for timely completion of logistics to begin the internship including possible visa preparations and other necessary Japanese government documentation. Eligibility. Those eligible to apply for OIST research internship program include excellent students who are in the final two years of undergraduate or master's programs in universities, colleges, junior colleges, and vocational schools in Japan or overseas. So anywhere that you are and you're getting this information right now, you're eligible to apply or graduates of such institutions. So if you're in your last two years, you're eligible. If you're a graduate of any of these institutions and you hold either a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you're eligible to apply. Currently enrolled students must have approval from their home institution. 
So your home institution has to approve you for this program if you're currently enrolled in the university or in college or in a junior college. Academic background of applicants should be appropriate to their desired host unit at OIST. Research interns who belong to a Japanese university or institution are required to prepare and bring their own insurances when accepted to the OIST research internship program. Acceptable in insurances are the combination of these two or other insurances with similar coverage. Application deadline. So for the fall 2022, it's already passed because as you can see, the deadline was in April. Now we are working towards spring 2023. The deadline is on the 15th of October, 2022. As soon as you receive this information, ensure that you start working on the necessary document so that you can meet the deadline. Also, if you receive this information and you know someone that this information will be beneficial to, as you can see, the deadline is pretty close. So don't keep this information any longer. Just share it with as many people as you can. And the, the internship program is between, the internship period will be between April 1st, 2023 and September 30th, 2023. The period of internship must be between two and six months consecutively. Required application materials. You need to provide a statement of purpose. In that statement, you have to write how the research at OIS will fit your current expertise and skills, what you intend to accomplish at OIS, and what are your research aspirations or your career plans and how these career plans will fit and how OIST is going to fit into your career plans and aspirations. You need to provide a transcript. So if you have a bachelor's degree already, you provide your bachelor's degree diploma and your transcript. If you have a master's degree, you provide the transcript and the diploma. If you have not graduated, you can upload a certificate of enrollment from your university. This certificate has to state when your expected date of graduation is. You have to provide a recommendation letter, which we already spoke about previously, and ensure that you get the letter from a professor who is familiar with your academic or your research professional background. Each applicant is required to have at least one and no more than three letters of recommendation from appropriate recommenders. Um, so you need at least one letter and you should not have more than three. And then it says you should obtain the consent of your referee before sending their details in the form because most times what happens is that when you put the email of a referee they will just contact the referee directly so that if the referee has to know that you have given their details somewhere otherwise it's just going to look strange that they receive an email from a university that they have no idea about so brief them id photo you have to upload the recent photo showing your face from the front in standard passport orientation once you have prepared and uh, once you have obtained and prepared all documents above, please apply to the program through this application form. Let's see what the form looks like. So right here, this is how it looks like when you want to log in. But since we don't have an account yet, we we'll need to go to create an account. So here you put your email, your regular email. You put your first name, your last name. I'm not a robot. And then you create an account. But I'm not going to be creating an account now. I just thought I should show you what this looks like. Next thing, let's go to research internship program description. So the graduate school offers education and research opportunities through a research intern program in STEM fields. That's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The duration of the internship is typically from two to six months. This short-term placement gives students the opportunity to gain experience in a particular laboratory or to learn a specific technique. Interns will work under the direction of a professor. 
and contribute to research activities of OEST. Internships may begin and end at any time during the year with two application periods. For details about the application process and deadline, please see the section. We've already gone there. Okay, what support are you going to receive? First of all, you receive internship allowance. That's 2,400 yen per day or per working day, and it's non-taxable. And then you receive commuting allowance. You get the oil shuttle bus pass. And then for travel expenses, you're going to get one direct round trip air ticket. Travel dates will be closest dates to the term of the placement. So you get a round trip ticket, a ticket from your home country to Oist and then from Oist back to your home country. Accommodation, you'll get furnished apartments on or off campus. Other support, Oist will also assist in visa acquisition, insurance procedures and local registration. This will only be provided for the students. Therefore, this does not pertain to dependents and family members of the students. If you're thinking of coming with the spouse or with your kids, note that the visa support and the insurance support that they provide is only for you as the student. It doesn't extend to dependents or family members. So you have to figure out how you're going to carry on with those dependents. Regulations. Applicants who intend to import biological or hazardous material for the research are urged to ensure that such import is in compliance with all regulations of their home country, any country of transit, and of Japan, and to complete all necessary paperwork for importation well ahead of time. So this is for those starting between October 2022 and March 2023, but of course the deadline has ended, so we have no interest in this. For now, this is the section we're interested in. So for analysis and partial differential equations unit, they have two positions available. For integrative community ecology units, they also have two. For non-linear and non-equilibrium physics units, they have to. Where this video comes to an end if this information is interesting to you i'll recommend that you proceed to apply and even if it's not interesting to you if you know anybody in your community that this video might be beneficial to i'll recommend that you please share the video with them because you don't know how these videos can change a person's life i always say it like if you receive this kind of information please don't keep it to yourself even if it's not beneficial to you please share because you might just change a person's life by sharing with them this basic information. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me. See you in my next video. Goodbye.